Greetings. This is a brief tutorial on how to use Tab Shop, which is the POS of choice for this uh, dummy for a dummy test run for Wildswell. All right, so you want to go ahead and open up the program, which is usable for Android devices, either tablets or cell phones. Go ahead and open up the program. Okay, you see a lot of icons. We're only going to focus on three that are relative to this tutorial. All right, the first one is the settings down, which is the uh, down at the bottom, which is the gear. This is where you can enter in your merchant account information, whether you're going to use Stripe, PayPal, or Authorize.net, which are the common ones. All right, once you enter your information here, you want to go ahead and click the Save button at the top, which is um, a disk icon. Takes you back to the main screen. All right, now you want to add a product. And for the tutorial purpose, it's going to be... Uh, the product is actually a QR code, which when somebody scans, then can um, funds will be deposited into um, your bank account of choice. All right, so you want to go ahead and click the barcode icon at the top left. All right, so right now you see this is a fresh install, so there's no products in here. So you want to go ahead and pl click the uh, plus symbol at the top. All right, so here's where you can enter your product information. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click the icon at the top that looks like a little image next to the garbage can where you're, it will open up your uh, photo gallery on your phone or your tablet. We'll go ahead and click this icon image. We're into the product name which we'll call QR code. Uh, you can go ahead and scroll down. You can enter a description if you choose to. You don't have to. Alright so now we need to set this product um, to a QR code. So you'll need the QR code somewhere set up or either on an actual uh, physical product or your computer screen, somewhere where we can actually take the snapshot of it from your phone or your tablet. So you wanna, we're gonna, for the tutorial, we're gonna use my laptop. All right, so you wanna go ahead and click the scan button. We'll turn on, actually it did a quick catch. So I'll go back to it again, so that was too fast. Go ahead and click scan. And we're using the icon so it captured the icon so then you want to go ahead and enter in a price that that icon or that QR code is going to represent so we'll go ahead and do one dollar cost price will be the same one dollar quantity you can leave as is um, every time it's scanned though it will deduct from that so you can add more if you like and again in the actual this is just a um, program used for this test run, but in the actual product or the custom POS um, app that we will create, you know, the option will be different. But for this one, we'll use it this way. Now, you can leave everything else empty, and then just go ahead and click the Save button at the top, right? And there you go. So you have your QR code product valued at a dollar. So go ahead and back out of this section. Okay, so next, um, everything's pretty much set up. So you want to go ahead and um, use the actual uh, app. So say someone walks into the store and they have the or have the uh, QR code on a shirt or a bottle or what have you. Again, for the tutorial purpose, I'm going to have the QR code on the laptop screen. All right, so you want to go ahead and push the green icon here. Uh, it looks like a keyboard. And you want to go ahead and add the product. So you can click the barcode located in the midsection here or at the top. It will open up the camera and you can scan the code. And there it adds the product that you scanned. And again, this can be on a t-shirt, a bottle, um, anything, anything that where this QR code can be placed. So once you have that product in, you can go ahead or products you can go ahead and click the cash uh, icon at the top or the, the uh, dollar symbol. And here you can enter any kind of tip or any additional cost you want to add in manually. Um, if you're happy with just what's already up there as far as price, you can leave it as is. Then you can select what payment option the person is going to use. So uh, we'll go ahead and use Stripe. Now, the icon, the I'm sorry, the the tabs here, custom PDF image print. This is if you're trying to um, store any kind of images or or email anybody any images if need be. 
um, the finishing app, the finished app, will actually be a little smoother than this. Again, this is just for the test run. So once you select Stripe, you can go ahead and click the actual button Stripe, enter in the credit card information, and charge credit card, and you're done. All right.